what's going on everybody another chill tutorial video on one of the least favorite levels in all of the any percent which is the bouncy castle eight ball station now this level traditionally doesn't lose you too much time from having the ball fall or failing at any point but the very ending is where it catches a lot of people off guard with how hard it is First thing you have to know is we use the Splatter Shot Pro because it is the easiest to control the ball no matter where you are. So the Splatter Shot Pro is just a little bit better and it has the burst bombs which can very quickly change the direction of the ball even if you are in a bad spot to do so and that really helps a lot when you're at the end bouncy castle portion. So starting off uh, you can jump straight from the turnstile so long as you're going fast from the direct start of the level and you can jump off and shoot the ball a couple times to launch it and then stop it. So once you're here and you stop the ball, you can stand behind it and just shoot it straight at this guy. He's not going to mess it up, trust me. Then you're going to hold the B button this whole time, like even right here I'm holding the B button. That way I can shoot the ball, hold the B button, and then as soon as I hit that pad, I'm bouncing far enough to go past those guys. As long as you keep the ball on a straight path, that part's not going to mess you up. The enemies are pretty chill, again, so long as you do this right. But you do have to be kind of careful, because uh, sometimes the ball won't go far enough off of that section, and you'll get messed, off, messed up from there. So this part is just unfair, in my opinion. This it, oh, It's so weird. It's such a weird thing to happen. But this bouncy thing is a little hard to control. But what you want to do is just shoot the ball straight on from an angle. You, of course, want to be on the right side. And you just want to shoot it from here. Just shoot it at an angle, and it should land right into the soft portion. Here, if you want to, just kill these enemies. It makes it way easier. But you don't really have to. You can kind of just ignore them and launch the ball this way. Then you get onto the spongy pad portion. There's no enemies here, so there's not really any danger. It'll take about six shots. Yeah, you want to do about six shots at a time to make sure you go the set distance uh, without hitting any of those pads. If you're a really pro player, one of the advanced techniques is you can actually go underneath the ball and then shoot it like this. Because when you unsquid, it pushes the ball a little bit faster. And it gives you a couple more shots on it, so it may go faster for you, I don't know, but I know that this, this part has a lot of grip. So, you should have a lot of control over the ball, so long as you are patient. Now, once we're in this final section, the final section is just so annoying. This is why people hate this level so much. It's because these bouncy walls are make it so hard to control the ball, and it's not difficult. You're not in any danger of dying or having the ball fall or anything, but you are in danger of having the ball just constantly ricochet back and forth without you being able to control it. So, how do we do this in the speedrun? Well, you can actually stop the ball. So, first of all, uh, I, let me start with this. When the ball goes into the cannon, it's going to get shot by an enemy that's going to spawn right away, and there's nothing you can do to stop that. The only way you can is if you perfectly time a burst bomb into that great before you jump but that's a little bit slower um or i think other weapons have like a splat bomb or something that you can throw and possibly stop it but here's how i recommend you do it you're gonna go into the jump pad as soon as you can and then you're gonna look left and throw a burst bomb Stop. That's, that's going to angle it straight down the middle, and hopefully those enemies will leave it alone enough for you to control it again. Uh, be very careful, because these guys love to shoot the ball first. If you are not around, the enemies will always shoot the ball first. So, you know, you have to be behind the ball, otherwise I'll be like, hey, I'm going to shoot these enemies. This, is, this happens a lot, by the way. I'll be like, hey, let me shoot these enemies. Oh, whoops. Ah, they see me. You can see, even if I'm far away, they shoot the ball. So let me just, like, sneak the ball up up here again. Uh, stop. 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 I'm going to sneak the ball up here. I'm going to go away. They still shoot the ball. So, something that happens a lot is 
I'm going up here, and then I'm going to shoot these enemies. Bop, bop, boom. I, all right, finally, I beat the level. And then it turns out, wait, their shots took the ball all the way back here. And now I have to find its way back. And that's really annoying. And then this is the worst case scenario where the ball is constantly ricocheting back and forth. It can even go faster than this if uh, it bounces off of this wall, which is even more of a pain because then it'll go way back there. There's a couple of ways that you can stop the ball once it's here. One way is just to shoot it forward and then hope it gets into the hole. So that's one way that you can stop it. Another way you can stop the ball is with a burst bomb. So if it's going back and forth, I can just throw a burst bomb at it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it does have a lot of control over the ball. At least enough for you to get lined up behind it and stop it with your body. And then that's the most consistent way is to just stop it with your body. If the ball is bouncing back and forth, I can stand in front of it and shoot it a couple times. And that's going to stop it there, and then I can go into the goal. Let me show that one more time. It's bouncing back and forth. I'm just going to find it, shoot it a couple times, and then if it's going too fast, it'll hit my body. And if not, I'll just shoot it, and that should be able to stop it. Controlling the ball in the bouncy portion is almost impossible, though, so really you want to avoid hitting the walls at all costs. That's just what you do if you really need to. The second most frustrating thing that can happen is if you miss this goal. If you miss the goal, this ball, like these walls are so horribly placed, none of them lead towards the center. So like this just keeps going this way and then I try and bounce it off the wall there. It's, it's, it'll lose you like eight seconds just trying to get the ball back into the So make sure you're aiming straight on once you get it in. The second eight ball level in the any percent speed run. And one of the... One of the more forgiving 8-ball levels, I would say, it's not too difficult of a level to do, but it is a little inconsistent in any percent unless you practice it a ton. So the theme of all these tutorials is you have to put in the practice. The practice is the most important thing when you're running this game. So make sure that you're actually spending the time to do the levels that are difficult to you until they are no longer difficult. There's a couple things you need to know about this level. First off, going over the 8-ball mechanics, the 8-ball always, always, always moves directly opposite of the inkling. It does not matter where I shoot on the ball, it will always travel directly away, even if I'm super close to it. It will travel directly away from me. So if I'm like right here, even if I shoot on the... If I'm right here, even if I shoot on the left side of the ball, it's going to go in a straight line away from me. Unless it's currently moving to the left, in which case, then it's going to combine the speeds and velocities. This is just from rest. You know, we're not a, we're not in a physics class right now. So that being said, this makes this part a little bit easier. This is the most challenging part of the level because a lot of people may stand in the wrong spot or time this incorrectly. But there is a cycle here that is going up and down. Uh, the cycle takes about seven seconds to go through like six or seven seconds. So ultimately you want to get it on the first cycle if you can because every cycle you miss is going to lose that much time. So the original way of doing this level is to bring the eight ball here and then it's going to get launched with the balloon. Once you have the balloon there, uh, one, then you have to like go all the way up here and climb up this thing. And it's super annoying, but really long and no one wants to do that. So instead we just do this, launch it on the ramp and that's it. One mistake people do is they stand a little bit too close to the ball. As you can see, you would think that this is kind of straight on and I can shoot it. But if I do, it goes off on an angle and nothing is good. So I don't want to do that. Instead, what I want to do is stand farther away from the ball. That way I can clearly see that there is a straight line going between me and the ramp. So once the ramp is down, I'm going to full fire it. And then I'm on it. One other thing you can be on the lookout for as you're on this ramp here is if sometimes the ball will be super close because you messed up the angle, that's okay, you can save it. Something you can do is jump off the side of the ramp and shoot it from there. So for example, let's say it's on the edge a little bit. I can even push it. Uh, I went too, little, too far. So if the ball is close to the edge, obviously you don't want to just jump on the ramp and immediately shoot it because if you shoot from here, it's going to fly off. So what I want to do is jump a little bit off the side. That way the ball is going to go towards the center. Remember, the ball always travels directly away from you. And once you pass the ramp, you are into the goal. 
Now, there's a couple other tips in this level in order to get the fastest cycle. So let me go ahead and run through the level at full speed to show you exactly what I'm doing at every step and make it so that I can get the cycle almost every time. First thing, obviously, the cycles run. You can see all the objects moving in the background. All the all the objects and the cycles run as soon as you load into the level, so you have to get to the turn style quickly. Next part, I'm gonna shoot straight past this guy. Sometimes it kills him. And then I'm gonna go up the ramp and bounce it off the wall. Bouncing off the wall makes it so that I can get behind it faster and then shoot up this way. Then just aim down sight. You can completely ignore these enemies. They're not gonna bother you. Get it onto the elevator slowly and immediately start going up the ramp. That slowed me down a little bit, but I think I'm still on pace. Then I'm going to shoot it a couple times over this curved line and then right down this big ramp. Super close on the cycle. So I'm gonna get it here, I'm gonna stop and then shoot it right on the ramp. Then sometimes I'm just a little bit too slow and I can't jump on myself. Uh, that would technically be a failure even if I waited the cycle uh, and decided not to jump because obviously I need to be there to end level two. So uh, if that happens, just wait. It only costs a couple of seconds to miss the cycle if you were too slow. Making that first cycle is incredibly difficult, so don't beat yourself up trying to get that first cycle every single time. Uh, I would say just focus on getting the skip correctly, making sure you're lining, uh, making sure you're lining yourself up properly and not rushing, because when you rush and you are inexperienced, you are not going to get it lined up because your entire movement throughout the entire level has to be perfect in order to get that cycle. And that's very difficult to do with just the eight ball. Like sometimes those enemies can mess you up. Sometimes it doesn't bounce off this wall properly. Sometimes it doesn't go up the left, like it can go up the ledge. Sometimes these enemies start shooting at you. Sometimes it falls off the elevator. There's so many things that can go wrong in this level. And you just kind of have to practice it a bunch in order to get used to all the small mechanics of doing the 8-ball. But the good news is, if you were to grind this level until you can get the first cycle almost every time, your ability to control the 8-ball is going to go up drastically. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the little hole there on the angle, so it does miss a cycle, but I was on pace with that movement. If I were to get this in a run, I would be pretty happy. And that's all I have to say about this 8-ball level. This is the last 8-ball level in the Any% percent route, so there's not really much to it after that. And if you have any other questions, then let me know. Otherwise, have a good day.